again and today we are going to learn about the uh, postman client so uh, whenever we are working on any restful web application we need a proper tool to make our job efficient from browser you can do get calls for sure that's not a problem but whenever you have to post a payload and you do not want to use it uh, through ui or you don't have ui you have to just use api only then uh, this tool can be used it comes with the browser plugin for or as an independent uh, desktop application the postman and there are several out there in just google and you will find and use but most prominent most useful which i personally like is postman because it can also uh, not only uh, save all your endpoints for future reference it also helps you to sync with it it also provides you to run your test cases and there are a uh, several bunch of stuff like you can organize your endpoints and stuff like that it also comes up with the runner which are used for uh, uh, running the automated test case around your apis so and it also tracks the history basically of whatever endpoints you might have called so that uh, these are the you know added features which are really really useful so what we are going to do is uh, right away we are going to try some of the rest endpoint from our server so i had a node server locally running which was trying to do the list call for the get so this one is the request and request has some headers and some values authorization we have super simple so nothing if it has auth type basic auth type if you have username password so only uh, the you know authorized user can get the response for this for example this is uh, a banking application and no one else should uh, i'll not allow any dick and harry to come and see my users so then i can have basic auth implemented which we are not doing it's out of the scope of this tutorial but that can be used just to show that the capability which postman has so we did a get call and we get the we got the json response which we can see in different modes like raw we can see it as preview we can see it as pretty pretty would be uh, properly aligned and everything it looks neat Uh, user friendly readable eyes friendly you can see so we will try and simulate the post so just to do that i just need to make some uh, quick changes in the code so that we can simulate the post so we have we are adding this endpoint and another variable to simulate the post So we have our server inside this server. We can add this method. So this method would have request. We can say request. We will now restart the server, and our endpoint would be add user. now we will open a postman and we will say add user once we say send it would give us an error with 404 why because we are uh, doing a get however we need to do a post and in the post there are there is something which is called as the body body like something like this we have some options of picking the body you can send a json payload basically body which would be nothing else but your user data right so we are going to send the user data as post payload and as soon as we do a send it will give us the successful response 200 and it would return all the users in the system and it would also do a add so i'll just uh, mm, 
let's go to history so we have a list user so once we do list user we see only three users but as soon as we post one more user which is a post add user we pass some value and then it would get added to this this would be additional data which has just got added over here the fourth value so the main purpose of post is uh, mm, uh, posting the data in the database or adding additional record or collection same thing happens with the update and delete so we would rather you know try that in the real application rather than try to do it in the simulated uh, application because in here we are trying to simulate everything because there is no backend or there is nothing like uh, behind the scene there is uh, no database wherein we are trying to get so we are trying to do it from file we are trying to read a file from the file we are uh, parsing the json which means whatever we read essentially it comes at the chunks and the stream which gets converted into string and json.parse will convert the string into the json object once you have the full fledged uh, json object inside that you can retrieve different values so you say user and then user here you are appending uh, request.params.id so uh, whenever you are passing id could be 1 2 3 whatever though that value will be returned so i'll just real quick you know give you the example of this because this one is important. so we have two endpoints like uh, two methods for the endpoint user now we will add third one third one would be from the user instead of getting all users we will just pass the id and we will try to get a single user from the you know, simulated database so called simulated database so we will try now we will say list user instead of list user i need information of user 2 so i got the information for user 2 if i will say 3 i will get the information of user 3 if i will say 1 but if i say 4 it won't give me anything because as soon as it goes uh, here it reads whatever is the data it passes and uh, the values are limited to whatever is available in this file so this uh, method is called as get one just to learn right uh, or common convention this is called as get all get all means it would help you to get all the records this would help you to get one record this is a post method which would help you to add one data to your uh, collection or add one resource similar way you can have put which would look similar and delete delete would look more similar like this from wherein you will uh, using just simple javascript you uh, code you can remove items from that array list that that should be super simple so uh, delete user we can also simulate the delete user right away so we'll add one more method which is a helpful method so any endpoint or resource which essentially follow the uh, get put post delete around the resource becomes a restful architected web application so once we do a slash delete user we pass the ID that particular value gets deleted so here uh, you can either pass the uh, request like request or parent so I was telling you uh, there is a request and a response request whatever you send uh, here internally the postman or the HTTP standards based on that uh, the parameter value gets converted this is the request parameter which uh, is understood by the browser without any doubts it's designed in that way for the delete uh, the same thing would happen but um, whatever in the example we are using we are uh, we are not grabbing this value from the resource itself 
so we are doing it hard coded however it can be done from the resource system so first thing first let me restart and call a delete here so from the drop down we can pick whatever method we want to call and once we call this seems like i have to uh, my endpoint was not proper so let's try to grab the exact endpoint so this is the exact endpoint now what has happened is we have user 1 and we have user 2 3 user 2 has been deleted so if from database it was able to read all the users but it has deleted one user from there we can always replace this by this let real code try and modify our code so we don't want to hard code this this is our value now when we are reading it uh, it's more or less in the similar lines here they called as id so we might listen to this id so we might append this so whenever you do colon in front of any um, value it becomes an interpolable variable so this id becomes a dynamic variable for which the value would be inserted and it's mapped and it would retrieve it on the basis of this if i say something else x so it would be x but let's do first thing first this time it would show up all the records but uh, whatever we delete apart from it rest everything will be shown so user 1 has been deleted this time if we do a list all let's try to do a get on list all users so far we have three users in system once we try to simulate number three so we'll see one and two three would vanish so we only saw one and two third number user is no more there so right now it's going dynamically mm, dynamically it's trying to delete the value from the parent so whenever you have colon anything following the colon becomes the uh, dynamic variable so let me try to make it x and x you don't have to always call it as id or whatever whatever you call it from there you just need to um, map or use the same as parameter and it's working the same way so, uh, for identifier we have kept the id over here so yeah this is pretty much it for this lecture so I'll just do a recap is what we did here is we took an example of RESTful uh, web application and just to use it uh, we use the postman postman is a REST uh, client which helps in uh, consuming or testing RESTful endpoints uh, so whatever are the standard rest methods they are available apart from it there are more methods which are available so for post there is a payload whenever we try to add such values and there are several other options so from browser it becomes difficult to do a post unless you don't have the presentation layer or ui so um, for that if you need to test out your rest apis you can use uh, such client postman wherein you can uh, pass in your post payload in whatever format there are several options xml html json normal text whatever you can just pass that in and you can test out all the endpoints end to end so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, so we'll see you in uh, future lectures thanks uh, uh, feel free to email me at frame